Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions with models. This is standard 5.3H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 which is a new item type drag and drop off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Beth and Noah. They're sharing a box of chocolates. The models are shaded to show the fraction of the box of chocolates, each of them eight. So what fraction of the box of chocolates did Beth and Noah eat all together? And what fraction of the box of chocolates is left over? Okay, so take a look at this. We actually have two different numbers we're looking for. Let me open up my graph draw feature. So we need to build a fraction. Uh, the, the fraction eaten and the fraction left over and it is a drag and drop. So you see these numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 12. We can move those and drag those into our correct positions and we can use the same number over and over again if we really want to. Now. It's not going to be 12 over 12, 12 over 12, but let's get started. So let's look at the fraction eaten. And so which one is the eaten? Well, so the models are shaded right here to show the fraction of the box of chocolates, each of them eight. Okay, so they don't tell us which one is which. I'm just going to say this one's Beth and that one's Noah, just for discussion purposes. So let's see what Beth ate. One, two, three, four, five out of six, seven, eight. Okay, so Beth ate five-eighths, okay? Noah ate, I'm going to put his over here, one-fourth. So what fraction of the box of chocolates did they eat all together? Well, I need to add, that's what this, let me write the five-eighths over here. I need to add 5 eighths and 1 fourth. Well, as you can see, it's not the same denominator. But take a look at this, what Noah ate. That's, that's half as long as the eighth. So watch what we could do. We can actually extend this out. And then we could basically copy what we see right here, right? And you see how that's just like I doubled what Noah did? Okay. So one fourth is also equal to two eighths. And so watch, if I wanted to do that without pictures, what you could do is you can, to make an equivalent fraction, you could always multiply by a fraction that's equal to one. So I doubled it. So I multiplied by two over two. Two over two is just one. So anything multiplied by 1 is the same thing. I'm just changing the way it looks. So you multiply straight across. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. All right, so I could do that now, right? My 5 eighths plus my 2 eighths. How many eighths do I've got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. All right, so let's build, let's build that right here. All right, so 7 eighths is how much is eaten. Now how much is left over? Well if I want to figure out how much is left over, let's see if we can draw that seven eighths. So watch this. So we took this, uh, this is our eighths up here at the top, but let's just continue to shade in this fraction eaten. And I'm just going to use this top one here, so I erased what I had drawn. All right, so there's my eaten right there. I'm not using that. All right, so there's my, if I wanted to draw over that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my seven, eights. Well, then what's left over? It's what I haven't eaten, which is going to be just that one right there. So that's just going to be my one-eighths. So let's build that. That is our answer.